Good morning. I'm going to show you how to use uh, Google Classroom today. Uh, I'm going to be using Google Chrome to show you this. I feel it's the best tool. So, first of all, open Google Chrome up and you're going to type in Google Classroom. Press enter. You're then going to find the one that says Google, uh, sorry, classroom.google.com. Um, and then it says, create or join your first class. Now, it's really important here, if you've already signed up to Google Classroom, but are in a, on a shared computer, it might show in this top corner somebody else's profile picture. You can see this is my other account. So you might have to click try another account. So here is where you log in using your username and password that I've given you. So um, I've created Mr. Hyphen W at St. Mary's Bulldog, etc. So I've done that. So I'm going to log in as that person. Now, really important, uh, it wants me to log in as this, and I click continue. Really important you click that you're a student because it will get really confused if you click you're a teacher because of the way it's all set up. So, student. And here you need to join your first class. Now, this class code has been also emailed out to you as a picture, um, and that's what you need to do here. So I'm just going to pause it for a second while I get that information up. Right, now you can see I've, I've put it down the bottom here so I remember it, but it's good to write in uh, on a piece of paper the class code. Because it's a picture, you can't just copy and paste it. And you click Join. And this will hopefully take you through to, I've got Elm class set up here. So, Elm class. Now we don't want to create host yet. So you can see this is the basis of what's happening. I'm just going to move myself. Oh, no, I'm not. So you can see that here we can share things with the class. Again, it all goes through the class teacher so they can take things off there as well. And you can see my first post. So, wow, good work, you made it. Warm yourself by the fire. And if you click on the link, it will take you to a lovely fire. Um, obviously, we're, we're starting this, and um, I loaded my class before I uh, have done this tutorial. So it's great work if they've managed to log in. So just generally, uh, it will come up here with share something with your class. Now, if I was a teacher, it would give me options to share assignments and things like that. You can see at the top, so this stream, it's a bit like Facebook. It shows things in a chronological order so that the newest stuff is up on the top and you might have to scroll down just like Class Do Dojo really. And you can see, I can go over to Classwork <coughs> and view all classwork here. So you can see, if I've set assignments and things like that, that will be in that section there. Um, you can also go to the class uh, drive, so that's the class Google Drive. So um, if I've given you any resources, you can get it from that section there. So I'm going to just go back to the stream and you can see that I would have upcoming work scheduled. Um, if there's deadlines and things, it would show in that box there. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, we are starting hopefully the Google Classroom after Easter, but it's like I say, it's going to take a while to roll it out. This is something we're going to do in school, but obviously um, as it's happened, we've got some time to play with it before we get back to school. I hope you stay safe and I'll talk to you soon.